But if I say things like climate change, now climate change is a tougher sell because the truth of it is, many of us have lived a rather long time. You remember the climate when we were kids. It's exactly the same as it was now. That's the case everywhere, right? If there, were, if there were any measurable differences in the climate, believe me, the market would notice. Have you noticed recently that, uh, think of it this way, the oceans are rising, Miami is going to be under the sea, coastal properties are going to get flooded. Think about this. If this was really true, and all this data is out there, anyone could read it, if anybody believed it, you would begin to see property values plummeting at the coast. All over the world. This would be happening right down the coast of Europe, all across the East Coast, California properties. In fact, it would, be, it would be cheaper to buy inland than to buy on the ocean. The Obamas recently forked out $15 million on Martha's Vineyard. Think about it. They've read the same, they're putting out the same studies themselves. The oceans are rising. Really? If the oceans are rising, why would you buy a property that's going to be engulfed in water? The truth of it is, and it's not just you, Obama. Sellers know that's not going to happen. Buyers know it's not going to happen. Real estate agents know it's not going to happen. Everybody knows the whole thing is bullshit. Everybody knows it's an open secret. But in another context where your wallet is not involved, in another context, oh, I'm very worried about climate change. I think I'm going to stop using straws. I think that's a very important step I'm taking to make the climate better. But all your other actions show that you actually know that this is not true. So you're playing a game. It's all about a game. There's a, there's a great scene in 1984. This is Orwell's dystopia. And they're interviewing this guy, Winston. And they're trying to get him to admit that 2 plus 2 is 5. This is the essence of political correctness in a nutshell. Winston, you got to admit that 2 plus 2 is 5. And Winston goes, no, no, I've given up my wealth. I've given up my family. I've given up everything. For me, I have only one freedom left. And that's the freedom to say that 2 plus 2 is still 4. And so what do they do? They put him in a dark room. They turn off the lights, sensory deprivation, all kinds of torture. And finally, poor Winston breaks down. And he goes, 2 plus 2 is 5. And he goes, can I go now? And they go, no, Winston. We're not satisfied. He goes, why not? I, I, I told you what you wanted. I told you that 2 plus 2 is 5. They go, we know that. But in your mind, you still think it's four. You're only saying it's five because you know that's what we want to hear. Our goal is to beat you into such conformity that you think inside your mind that two plus two is four. This is what the socialists want to do. In 1984, they want to make Winston into a worm. They want to destroy his ability to not only operate in a free economy, but to be a free man even in his own mind. And I'll, I want to suggest that that's actually what's going on in a, in, Tocqueville talked about soft despotism in America. We have it. That's what's going on here. An attempt to beat us down into intellectual submission. Now, if you happen to agree with the orthodoxy, you don't feel it. But if you don't agree, that's when you begin to feel it. That's when ultimately the guns are, you may say, trained against you. 